right, welcome to another adventure here in Taiwan. Um, last full day here, so we're going to check out Wet the Nels National Palace Museum. Um, unfortunately, it is closed today. Today is Monday, um, but I'll take you around the outside. This is Taiwan's biggest museum, and it's where they have all of their uh, their uh, their artifacts, like their artwork, their um, the bronze and silver and stuff. So. Of course, you can't go inside the day, take you in there, and then we're gonna actually go over to the hot springs, which is another thing that Taiwan is known for, uh, something I've been wanting to do. So, Ruth, which is now my wife, say hi. Hi. Uh, hi she's, gonna, she's gonna take me over to the hot springs, and we have a, uh, we'll, we'll stay there tonight, so. I'll show you around there, but we'll take you around the outside of the museum here and just show you around a little bit, so. Yeah, this thing is massive. Really huge. You can see the, the, the Taiwanese flag up there. We'll we're, we're get a closer look at that. Here you get a better look at it. some of the artwork. You can see just how massive it is. I think it's like three stories. It goes on this way too. You see it's more down here, that's all part of the uh, museum. So it's just a massive, massive complex, but unfortunately they are not open today. Um, but this is uh, uh, where Taiwan keeps all, like I said, all the treasures, all the artwork and the sculpt sculptors and all their artifacts that were found from uh, the natives. So we'll walk around a little bit more not sure there's too much else to see, but... Alright, so there is the Taiwanese flag flying in the wind here. So, the meaning of that, so the red is abs uh, is for the, uh, the, uh, the blood that was shed here during the uh, Chinese Civil War. Um, I learned about that in school. Um, that has how Taiwan was founded. So that's what the red means. The blue is for justice, because they got justice. And something I didn't know, the star, the white star up there is, uh, comes from the Bible. The, uh, the star of David because the founder, because uh, the, the original people from Taiwan were Christian. Um, Taiwan is not a Christian country now, but the original founder was Christian. So that's where the white star comes from, the, the 12 points of David. So you have justice, uh, blood, and uh, the Christian Star of David. So that's the meaning of the Taiwanese flag. Um, we are going to head out to Bay 2 to see the museum there and then check out the hot spring. Alright, so we ended up here at Modern Toilet. This is a toilet themed restaurant here in Taipei and it's pretty amazing. So the seats, seats are all in the shape of toilets. You have a bowl in the middle there, cushions shape pool. These, these are tables, nice tiles, and some rubber duckies. Spaghetti and tomato sauce, and I add on the pea combo, which is a drink and dessert with the uh, with the milk tea. So and some and some poo poo bread and dessert. Uh, maybe I get get the uh, the shit ice cream. Yeah, that that should be fun. All right, so it comes with like a nice little neat little thing. You got your rubber ducky here with the salad, you got a nice little uh, poo shaped uh, spaghetti thing with the thing at the top, the list here, so 
Looks uh, looks good. We're gonna enjoy this at this restaurant here. So Ruth got this cute little uh, dessert here. It's yogurt, it's shaped like a bathtub. So you should take that's that, that's yogurt and some, a little flour in the middle. Looks good, right? Try it. How, try it. See see how it is. Mm, yummy. Yummy. Mm. Yeah, this this place is fantastic. So if if you come to Taipei, definitely come here and check it out. Modern toilet. It's in the, it's by the uh, Xilin district. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and all these desserts here are those cute. A boy and a girl there. Nice little cupcake. So this is part of, was this is part of the pea combo that I got. But it's really cool to drink. Nice little dessert. All right, we'll be leaving this fantastic little establishment here. We play in the ball pit. Maybe some poo and like half bean donuts. Pretty cool, bubble pool. There's the seats all in the forms of toilets. And then the, the napkins are toilet paper rolls for your, uh, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty fun place to go. If you're looking for something uh, different in Taipei, check this out. It's over by the Shilin, it's right outside the, the Nine Market. All right, so I was told I have to see this inside the bathroom, so let's go check this out before we head out. Ha uh -huh, that is pretty fantastic. Turn the water on. Yeah, this little gem is pretty fantastic. That is the sink that you're washing in. You have to have it uh, draining into the toilet bowl there, but... Alright, so we're here, here at the Washan Creativity Center. Um, this is the culture and creative part of Taipei. Um, you have a lot of you know, performance arts, visual arts, you know, nice little coffee shops. This is pretty much the, uh, like I said, the artistic, creative center of highway. So we'll walk around and take a look at some of the cool stuff they have here. Um, so uh, some of the stuff, obviously, if you're here to see a concert or a play or some an art exhibition you have to pay for. Um, but uh, we can, uh, we're taking a look in this store here, but we can um, take a look at some of that stuff. So these are DIY music boxes. So they have all these different um, stuff up here. Different objects and you can make your own music box. So if you have the creative juices, you can come over here and make a nice music box like this. You can make it, make it your own. You know, a nice little art project. That one's cool, I like that one with the wheel. That's really nice, but. Yeah, it's very, uh, very creative stuff. This is all, this is all handmade. It's all, all DIY. Alright, so this actually dates back to 1914, when Taiwan was occupied by Japan. They created us to uh, produce wine in the country, and they also also gave the Taiwanese a. Um, like a culture center to express themselves since uh, underneath under Japanese occupation they were not able to do that so they created this little area so they can kind of create and, and create a culture place where the Taiwanese could express themselves under Japanese occupation and also uh, uh, produce wine to you know make you know, make a little money. So kind of the history of this so Walking around, I mean, it's basically a lot, a lot of shops, very creative shops, like a, a DIY shop and stuff like that, um, like 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 art, artsy stuff. So if you're into the art and expressing yourself and creativity, this is the place you want to go. Um, like a, a, a nice little 
wine wine shops and like little coffee shops in here. So nice, nice little chill place to come. So we'll walk around for a little bit more and then we'll head over to the hot springs uh, in a little while. All right, I'm not sure what this is, but check this out. See who's see who's down here. Oh yeah, so there is a film festival going on here. This is the World Ethnic Film Festival. So, um, yeah, so these are uh, new release films, similar to uh, you know, Cannes and Sundance. We can come here and watch some uh, um, new, uh, new release films that may be in theaters close by. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty, uh, pretty. So today is actually the 18th. So it started nine fifty. It started nine fifteen. So today is a nine eighteen. So it's going on now. Currently until next week. Very very cool. All right. So you get the idea about this uh, uh, creative part. Um, a lot of uh, creative thoughts, uh, DIY. You know, movies, music. You know, arts and crafts. So uh, um, you get the kind of gist of. Uh, what this place is so we are gonna grab some coffee and then we head over to the Bay 2 hot springs and I will see you over at the hot springs I'm right, stuck in a simple cafe coffee little shop and they are well known for having the world barista championship they won first place the barista from this coffee shop won first place Double Island in 22nd 25th 2016 one out the taxi driver was saying, smells good, um, smells good, but um, taste is just okay. So um, we're going to take a little taste of that and then we're going to head to the hospital. Alright, so this is, these are public hospital pool. Great little view out there of the sunset going down. Absolutely beautiful. Nice view of the mountains up that way. And then this water here. Oh yeah, that is warm. We're gonna we're gonna enjoy that. So Okay baby, how how is it feeling? Oh uh, the water is definitely warm. Uh takes some getting used to, but it definitely feels good after Nice long day and um, a, a, a hectic week. Um, feels good to just relax a little bit and yeah. take it in. It's a beautiful location yeah. in the mountains and yeah. with, with the sunset going down. Yeah. Definitely beautiful. Yeah. Because the weather is so hot, so it's not time to take hot spring. But usually people, when they left the world after vacations, it will take a few hours of hot spring for circulation. Yeah, this is the off season. Um, normally, people come here during the winter time. This is September, late, late September. It's still very humid here in in Taiwan, so um, it's definitely uh, this will definitely hit the spot in uh, in, uh, in in the winter for sure. We got done at the hot springs inside. Um, it's all natural hot springs, so so you can rent those out for for one to six hours, or with, there is a hotel here. Uh, you can stay at the hotel and you can spend as much time as you want in there. So that's what we did. We had one night. Um, there's also a thermal field, which we'll check out tomorrow. I'll probably put that at the end of this video, um, and then. Um, yeah, um, those hot springs, it's, um, there's three different pools. The, the first pool was very hot, it was like 55 degrees Celsius. I'll put the Fahrenheit score down here. And then the second pool, which was the best, it's more like your typical spa. Very warm, uh, probably like 90 to 100 degrees. And then the last one, 
was a bit cooler than that. So pretty fun. They actually deliver breakfast to you. Um, so that's included with your hotel. And I'll show you the rooms. Each of the rooms also has a separate hot springs. All natural, it's piped right from below. This area of Taiwan is very, um, has a lot of thermal energy, much like, much like Yellowstone, some geothermal features, and it turned into resorts and different stuff like that. So I'll give you a quick tour of a room, and then um, tomorrow I'll show you the thermal fields before we head to the airport. So um, yeah, stay tuned for that.